Hey, my name is Robert and I am a freelance industrial designer, visual facilitator and also illustrator. And in this video I want to talk to you about how I use Morfolio Trace for my early sketching and ideation process. Let's take a look. All right, before I start a new project, I wanted to take a look just at this one that I did before where I was uh, exploring some, well, armchair designs. And I want to continue on this one. So basically, mostly this design here because I like how the wood is stacking there. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm going to make a new blank document. And I like it to be on white. Like this, this is cool and I did the yellow before, but in general, I prefer sketching on white. Before I continue, I also uh, log the translation because I don't want to be bothered by that. And because I'm an industrial designer, the main tools I use is mostly sketching for this one. And for sketching, I really enjoy the, the brush that they have here. Uh, I'm using this size because I'm so far, it seemed to be the, the, the most pleasant one. And then I just uh, go ahead and uh, sketch around a little bit. So what I like about uh, this pencil, uh, pencil tool actually is that it is very sketchy. I can work very light with it, but it emulates, I feel like, almost pencil drawing very nicely. And even if you have a super sketchy and uh, rough drawing, just with a couple of uh, extra steps and just making sure that you enhance and make some of the lines a little bit darker you can actually create much more depth and you can make your sketch look quite a bit nicer just by adding a little bit of cross hatching just like there all right i'm also going to go in here and just make the underside a little bit darker if uh, and now I can go on to basically what I wanted to explore that uh, composite wood on the back.
So one of the other good things about this app is, is like it has a double tap function. So I can quickly switch between the eraser and back to the pencil if I need to. So that is very useful if you want to speed up your uh, drawing work. So let's see this. I'm just gonna draw an axis through there. Obviously this would not be as sharp as it is here, but just for exploration purposes, I just need the form there. Okay, so from here on, we would have our back plate. And I want a nice organic growth out of here. can already see I went a little bit further back on this side than I was supposed to. So I'll just take the to this tool. What is this called? I have actually no idea. I guess it's a lasso tool. <laughs> so I take this lasso tool and I will just move it a little bit to the front here like that. I think we're, we're okay with that. And then just try to fix this up. The thing is you don't want it to be leaning backwards way too much. And the previous one didn't have this lean. And I oh, I feel like it's important to put this lean into it. Erase it. Let me let me make the thickness of my eraser a little bit bigger. You always have to switch between the, the thicknesses of your eraser if you want to do precision work or if you want to do <clears throat> more uh, just softer strokes. There we go. I'm sort of fine with this. Now I would say we, we might need another one here. Sort of coming out from here, but I want to use more secure lines, more confident lines. There we go. Now I can go back to the eraser. I make it much thinner. And I just make sure to erase that interior part there because it was becoming a little bit too dark for my taste. So. All right, and now that we have that, I'll just add a little bit of shadow here. And because this is floating very, very much, I would want to make sure, I'm just gonna take a different color for this. So, I tap the black, I would say a blue, just so I see what's uh, hidden. So let's say these would be the, everything that's blue would be our hidden edges. So right, that belongs here and then here. We have quite a bit of blue as well. And according to the previous drawing, like I had an interconnected sort of beam coming up here. And I would say, well, that, that, that shouldn't be blue, right? The blue is over here. There we go. And then back to black, because now we're doing the visible part of the drawing. And that would be somewhere here. 
and I thought it would be quite cool if we have sort of a hidden connection here. So this is not perfect. I want to fix that a bit. There we go. So we could have like uh, metal bags or something like that. I just, I just like these sort of inputs. I have no idea how, how that's uh, constructible, <laughs> how, would, how, how you would go about uh, fabricating that. But I'm gone something right now. And for that, it's, it's more than enough. So I'm just gonna create a new layer Actually, I'm going to erase this layer because I want the layer to be exactly the same size as this one. And now I'm going to lock the translation in this one as well. And here I can try and design different paddings if necessary. So let's just try this first one a little bit where we have only padding on this side. And what's cool is that the layer below automatically goes a little bit uh, transparent. It's almost like working with a, a grease paper, which is pretty, pretty handy if you're, if you're doing uh, quick ideations. So I think this could be a nice idea, but I am going to move this out of the way just for a second and try another one as well so what would happen if i have sort of a full padding here and it's interesting because well i am sort of losing the nice design element that i had there but you do need padding for the back also i find that this angle that I'm drawing here is a bit too harsh. It might be something like that. Interesting because I said different direction. Okay, there we go. Just gonna go a little bit darker here. I'm gonna make maybe the pants a little bit thicker just for the hatching. Okay, the lower part should be in shadow so we can hatch a little bit there. Hmm, not the biggest fan, I must say. So I'm gonna turn this off, come back to this one. Uh, smaller and then back to black, take all of this away. I'm going to move this just a little bit out of the way. Uh, and let me try a side view. I'm just going to take the ruler as well, because that can make things quite a bit faster because, oh, everything snaps, but then sometimes the ruler snaps into a different direction as well. All right, so I think something like this would be our little sitting area. Like the, if, if the thickness here changes, it's not such a big deal because obviously we this needs to be projected and whatnot. But there we go. So here we go up till here. 
And then let me take away the, well, actually I don't have to take away the eraser because the good thing is you tap once and then actually you can follow, do nice and straight lines with the uh, ruler as well, just by drawing nice lines. Okay, so I have this angle. I feel like this angle works better. I would make it maybe even just a bit less, something like this. I like this, this looks cool. And then I come back with a straight line here because we need our little arm uh, holder thingamajig. And then I go back to sketching where I sort of twist this side of the wood. Okay, and then this goes together here, right? Let me bring this back a little bit so this goes in there. So that's where the two sort of meet. And then I had the extra piece of wood. I shouldn't follow that, I should come a little bit higher because then it would be somewhere here. I think this, this is just wood on top of wood. Looks really cool. I just need a woodworker to tell me that this is not smart thing to do, which usually happens. <laughs> Well, technically you wouldn't really see this too much, right? So let me make it invisible a bit. And then it's just with two there. And I say these, this is all done with two there as well. Obviously you wouldn't want to have <clears throat> such a big gap there. I'm just making that gap out of uh, for visual purposes. Okay, and now because I, as I said, I like this brush. Well, brush pencil, I just want to show you how nicely you can show just the, the, the transition from one state to the other. Erase a little bit away here. And this is also not needed. There we go. And then this, oh, that was still there. Sorry, my bad. Just make this a little bit stronger. And because we have some shadow here, I'm just gonna add that. There we go, so that we have a slight shadow. These two are overlapping here. Okay, that's nice. I can do the same with a bit of shadow here. I'm actually going to make uh, just a little bit thicker. There we go. So this is what I like about this pencil. It gives this really nice cross hatching effect. And I'm all about that. <laughs> Drawing digitally, but having that feeling of, of, of traditional work is, is really cool. And you get it out of this pencil. So I really enjoy just ideating around. And as I said, like oh, oh, this already throws a bit on, on, on the quality of the drawing. And because I know that this is in, in shadow as well, I can come in here. Well, it's not in shadow, but this is a bending surface, right? So everything that's closer to the ground is going to be a bit darker. There we go. Can add a bit more here. I feel like this already explains the shape quite quite a bit. You could also do the same thing here. If I want to clean it up a little bit, I'll come in with my, ooh, that's the eraser. I come in with my magic ruler and just make sure to 
draw these lines perfectly and then I take it away and then I just draw a couple of more lines by hand and now I can make this a little bit thinner as well and I can just draw in a couple of the uh, seams of the wood. There we go and then we know that this is wood as well. Just like that. And then if, if I wanted to give this uh, to somebody, I would say, let's go here. Let's look up uh, wooden furniture, maybe texture. Like what would I want this to be? Images. I was thinking maybe dark wood, something classy, or maybe red wood. I do like this. So I'm just gonna we save this, add to photos, there we go. Then I go back here. I'm just going to library, photos, and there is our wooden texture. Can be smaller. There we go, I like this. And I also need uh, should be leather, I think fabric. Furniture fabric. Let's see if I find something that I like. So usually with I would like something maybe green or blue. Let me add blue, turquoise, there we go, that's perfect, here I like this, uh, or is it add to photos, then we go back here, image, library, all photos, this one, and I want it smaller and out of the way, there we go, okay. So I want this to be this one and I want this to be these two. And now I put it back to normal, zoom in a little bit, draw that one. Okay, so now the client has an idea about the type of wood or the manufacturer and the type of uh, fabric. So yeah, this is sort of how I work. I hope uh, this is useful for you guys. I hope you took something away. I really recommend this. Uh, the, the pencil is really fun. I do enjoy it quite a bit. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and you will also have a lot of fun with more folio trays. If you'd like to see more from me, you can follow me on YouTube here or on Instagram here. And with that, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.